they're a really diverse group of individuals. Just because you're born after a certain date doesn't mean you can't lump them all together, and that happens a lot. You see a lot of articles about millennials all do this. Well, they don't all do anything. But there are very significant similarities. Um, I think the two main things are, first of all, they were born digital. So they grew up with cell phones, internet, all the world's information, just at their palm of their hand, they can Google anything. Um, the other thing is, rapid change is the norm for them. So they're used to things changing all the time. That's just how things are. So if you look around the room today, I think you might notice some of us are digital immigrants. We weren't born with cell phones. We didn't have iPads when we were kids to do homework. Rapid change is not the norm for us. Even as in change management, rapid change is not the inherent norm that you grew up with. So it's, it really makes you have a different perspective being either a digital native or a digital immigrant. And I'll give you an example. Let's say you go back to work tomorrow. You have completely new software on your computer. Completely new. If you're a digital immigrant, you're thinking, I don't have time for this. I don't want to learn this. Ugh. If you're a digital native, you're probably thinking, oh, wow, look at this new software it can do. Because for digital natives, it gives you options, not obligations. And it's a very different way of looking at technology. So I was born in 79. I'm 37, just turned 37 last month. So I kind of feel like I have a foot in both worlds. Either I'm a really old millennial or a really young Gen X. <laughs> so I, I'm kind of an in-between. So if you're born in the late 70s, you have a, a kind of a weird perspective on it. Um, the other thing that's a, a misperception is that, especially among older generations, is that millennials and Gen Z are automatically tech wizards because they're always looking at their phones. That's not true. They're not tech wizards for the most part. They can't build an app or you know fix your computer or something just because they are on the, their phones all day long. In fact, they're actually dependent on technology in ways that previous generations weren't. And I'll give you an example. Let's say you told an 18-year-old that it's absolutely imperative that they drive to California right now to some like Glendale, California. You got to be there tomorrow. They'd probably get and they can't use a cell phone. They can't use GPS. They'd probably get one county over and be like, nope, and just turn around and come back. If I told a boomer that, if I told my dad that, he'd probably pop the trunk, grab his Rand McNally, and get in the car and go. <laughs> so, because he's not dependent on technology like the millennials are. 